Antigua W, also known as Walladley or Wadadley by the native population, is an island in the West Indies. It is one of the Leeward Islands in the Caribbean region and the main island of the country of Antigua and Barbuda. Antigua and Barbuda became an independent state within the Commonwealth of Nations on 1 November 1981. Antigua means ancient in Spanish after an icon in Seville Cathedral, Santa Maria de la Antigua, Saint Mary of the Old Cathedral. The name Walladley comes from the indigenous inhabitants and means approximately our own. The island's circumference is roughly 87 kilometers 54 miles and its area 281 square kilometers 108 square miles. Its population was 80,161 at the 2011 census. The economy is mainly reliant on tourism with the agricultural sector serving the domestic market. Over 32,000 people live in the capital city, St. John's. The capital is situated in the northwest and has a deep harbor which is able to accommodate large cruise ships. Other leading population settlements are All Saints 3412 and Liberta 2239 according to the 2001 census. English Harbor on the southeastern coast is famed for its protected shelter during violent storms. It is the site of a restored British colonial naval station called Nelson's Dockyard after Captain Horatio Nelson. Today English Harbour and the neighbouring village of Falmouth are known as a yachting and sailing destination and provisioning centre. During Antigua Sailing Week, at the end of April and beginning of May, an annual regatta brings a number of sailing vessels and sailors to the island to play sports. On 6 September 2017, the Category 5 Hurricane Irma destroyed 90% of the buildings on the island of Barbuda. Residents were evacuated to Antigua. History Early Antiguans The first residents were the Guanahatabi people. Eventually, the Arawak migrated from the mainland, followed by the Carib. Prior to European colonialism, Christopher Columbus was the first European to visit Antigua. In 1493, the Arawak were the first well documented group of indigenous people to settle Antigua. They paddled to the island by canoe from present-day Venezuela, pushed out by the Carib, another indigenous people. The Arawak introduced agriculture to Antigua and Barbuda. Among other crops, they cultivated the now noted Antiguan black pineapple. They also cultivated corn, sweet potatoes, white with firmer flesh than the bright orange, sweet potato, used in the United States, chili peppers, guava. Tobacco Cotton Some of the vegetables listed, such as corn and sweet potatoes, still are staples of Antiguan cuisine. Colonists took them to Europe, and from there, they spread around the world. For example, a popular Antiguan dish, dukuna, duku n, is a sweet, steamed dumpling made from grated sweet potatoes, flour and spices. Another staple, fungi, fuindi, is a cooked paste made of cornmeal and water. Most of the Arawak left Antigua about AD 1100. Those who remained were raided by the Carib coming from Venezuela. According to the Catholic Encyclopedia, the Carib's superior weapons and seafaring prowess allowed them to defeat most Arawak nations in the West Indies. They enslaved some and cannibalized others. Watson points out that the Caribs had a much more warlike culture than the Arawak. The indigenous people of the West Indies made excellent sea vessels, which they used to sail the Atlantic and Caribbean. As a result, the Arawak and Carib populated much of the South American and the Caribbean islands. Their descendants lived throughout South America, particularly Brazil, Venezuela and Colombia. <laughs> <laughs> Europeans Christopher Columbus named the island, Antigua, in 1493 in honor of the Virgin of the Old Cathedral. Spanish, La Virgen de la Antigua found in Seville Cathedral in southern Spain. On his 1493 voyage, honoring a vow, he named many islands after different aspects of St. Mary, including Montserrat and Guadeloupe. In 1632, a group of English colonists left St. Kitts to settle on Antigua. Sir Christopher Codrington, an Englishman, established the first permanent European settlement. From that point on, Antigua history took a dramatic turn. Codrington guided development on the island as a profitable sugar colony. 
For a large portion of Antigua history, the island was considered Britain's gateway to the Caribbean. It was located on the major sailing routes among the region's resource-rich colonies. Lord Horatio Nelson, a major figure in Antigua history, arrived in the late 18th century to preserve the island's commercial shipping prowess. According to a brief history of the Caribbean, European diseases, malnutrition, and slavery eventually destroyed the vast majority of the Caribbean's native population. There are some differences of opinions as to the relative importance of these causes. In fact, some historians believe that the reportedly abundant, but starchy, low protein diet may have contributed to severe malnutrition of the Indians, who were used to a diet fortified with protein from sea life. Others believe that the psychological stress of slavery may also have played a part in the massive number of native deaths while in servitude. Topic. Slavery Sugar became Antigua's main crop in about 1674, when Christopher Codrington c. settled at Betty's Hope Plantation. He came from Barbados, bringing the latest sugar technology with him. Betty's Hope, Antigua's first full-scale sugar plantation, was so successful that other planters turned from tobacco to sugar. This resulted in their importing slaves to work the sugar cane crops. According to a brief history of the Caribbean, many West Indian colonists initially tried to use locals as slaves. These groups succumbed easily to disease and or malnutrition, and died by the thousands. The enslaved Africans adapted better to the new environment and thus became the number one choice of unpaid labor. They also provided medical services and skilled labor, including carpentry, for their masters. However, according to a Smithsonian Institution article, the West African slave population in the Caribbean also had a high mortality rate, which was compensated by regular imports of very high numbers of new slaves from West and Central Africa. Sugar cane was one of the most grueling and dangerous crops slaves were forced to cultivate. Harvesting cane required backbreaking long days in sugar cane fields under the hot island sun. Because of how quickly sugar cane spoiled once it was harvested and mills were slow and inefficient, during the harvest season the mill and boiling house operated 24 hours a day to process the cane. 1. Sugar mills and boiling houses were two of the most dangerous places for slaves to work on sugar plantations. In mills wooden or metal rollers were used to crush cane plants and extract the juices. Slaves were at risk of getting their limbs stuck and ripped off in the machines. Too. Similarly, in sugar boiling houses slaves worked under extremely high temperatures and at the risk of being burned in the boiling sugar mixture or getting their limbs stuck. Three. Today, collectors prize the uniquely designed, colonial, furniture built by West Indian slaves. Many of these works feature what are now considered, traditional, motifs, such as pineapples, fish and stylized serpents. By the mid-1770s, the number of slaves had increased to 37,500, up from 12,500 in 1713. The white population had fallen from 5,000 to below 3,000. The slaves lived in wretched and overcrowded conditions and could be mistreated or even killed by their owners with impunity. The Slave Act of 1723 made arbitrary murder of slaves a crime, but did not do much to ease their lives. Unrest against enslavement among the black Antiguans became increasingly common. In 1729, a man named Hercules was hanged, drawn, and quartered, and three others were burnt alive for conspiring to kill the slave owner Crump and his family. In 1736, an enslaved man called Prince Claus whose real name was Court allegedly planned an uprising in which white slavers would be massacred. Court was crowned King of the Coromantes in a pasture outside the capital of St. John's. The coronation appeared to be just a colorful spectacle but was, for the enslaved people, a ritual declaration of war on the white slavers. Due to information obtained from other slaves, colonists discovered the plot and suppressed it. Prince Kloss and four accomplices were caught and executed by the breaking wheel. However, some doubts exist about Court's guilt. Six of the rebels were hanged in chains and starved to death, and another 58 were burned at the stake. The site of these executions is now the Antiguan Recreation Ground. The American War of Independence in the late 18th century disrupted the Caribbean sugar trade. At the same time, public opinion in Great Britain gradually turned against slavery. Traveling at slavery's end, Joseph Sturge and Thomas Harvey 1838 found few married slaves residing together or even on the same estate. 
Slaveholders often counted as married only those slaves with mates on the estate. Great Britain abolished the slave trade in 1807, and all existing slaves were emancipated in 1834. <laughs> Horatio, Lord Nelson Horatio Nelson, who was created first Viscount Nelson 1801, was senior naval officer of the Leeward Islands from 1784 to 1787 on HMS Boreas. During his tenure, he tried to enforce the Navigation Acts. These acts prohibited trade with the newly formed United States of America. Most of the merchants in Antigua depended upon American trade, so many of them despised Captain Nelson. As a result, he was unable to get a promotion for some time after his stint on the island. Unlike the Antiguan merchants, Nelson had a positive view of the Navigation Acts. The following quote sums up his views about the controversial Navigation Acts. The Americans were at this time trading with our islands, taking advantage of the register of their ships, which had been issued while they were British subjects. Nelson knew that, by the Navigation Act, no foreigners, directly or indirectly, are permitted to carry on any trade with these possessions. He knew, also, that the Americans had made themselves foreigners with regard to England, they had disregarded the ties of blood and language when they acquired the independence which they had been led on to claim, unhappily for themselves, before they were fit for it, and he was resolved that they should derive no profit from those ties now. Foreigners they had made themselves, and as foreigners they were to be treated, Nelson said. The Antiguan colonists are as great rebels as ever were in America, had they the power to show it." A dockyard started in 1725, to provide a base for a squadron of British ships whose main function was to patrol the West Indies and thus maintain Britain's sea power, was later named, "...Nelson's Dockyard," in his honour. While Nelson was stationed on Antigua, he frequently visited the nearby island of Nevis, where he met and married a young widow, Fanny Nisbet, who had previously married the son of a plantation family on Nevis. 1918 labor unrest Following the foundation of the Eulotrician Universal Union, a friendly society which acted as a trade union which were banned, the sugar cane workers were ready to confront the plantation owners when they slashed their wages. The cane workers went on strike and rioted when their leaders were arrested. <laughs> Political status In 1968, with Barbuda and the tiny island of Redonda as dependencies, Antigua became an associated state of the Commonwealth, and in 1981 it was disassociated from Britain. <laughs> Banking Stanford International Bank was formed by Alan Stanford in 1986 in Montserrat where it was called Guardian International Bank. On 17 February 2009, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged Alan Stanford, Pendergast Holt and Davis with fraud in connection with the bank's $8 billion Certificate of Deposit investment scheme that offered "...improbable and unsubstantiated high interest rates". This led the federal government to freeze the assets of the bank and other Stanford entities. On 27 February 2009, Pendergast Holt was arrested by federal agents in connection with the alleged fraud. On that day, the SEC said that Stanford and his accomplices operated a massive Ponzi scheme, misappropriated billions of investors' money and falsified the Stanford International Bank's records to hide their fraud. Stanford International Bank's financial statements, including its investment income, are fictional. The SEC said, Antigua Overseas Bank AOB was part of the Abbey Financial Group and was a licensed bank in Antigua. On 13 April 2012, AOB was placed into receivership by the government of Antigua. <laughs> <laughs> Online gambling Antigua was one of the very first nations to legalize, license, and regulate online gambling and is a primary location for incorporation of online gambling companies. Some countries, most notably the United States, argue that if a particular gambling transaction is initiated outside the country of Antigua then that transaction is governed by the laws of the country where the transaction was initiated. 
This argument was brought before World Trade Organization and was deemed incorrect. In 2006, the United States Congress voted to approve the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act, which criminalized the operations of offshore gambling operators which take wagers from American based gamblers. This was a prima facie violation of the GATS Treaty obligations enforced by the WTO, resulting in a series of rulings unfavorable to the U.S. On 21 December 2007, an Article 22 arbitration panel ruled that the United States' failure to comply with WTO rules would attract a $21 million sanction. The WTO ruling was notable in two respects. First, although technically a victory for Antigua, the $21 million was far less than the $3.5 billion which had been sought. One of the three arbitrators was sufficiently bothered by the propriety of this that he issued a dissenting opinion. Second, a rider to the arbitration ruling affirmed the right of Antigua to take retaliatory steps in view of the prior failure of the U.S. to comply with GATS. These included the rare, but not unprecedented, right to disregard intellectual property obligations to the U.S. Antigua's obligations to the U.S. in respect of patents, copyright, and trademarks are affected. In particular, Berne Convention copyright is in question, and also material not covered by the Berne Convention, including TRIPS Accord obligations to the U.S. Antigua may thus disregard the WIPO Treaty on Intellectual Property Rights, and therefore the U.S. implementation of that treaty the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, or DMCA, at least up to the limit of compensation, since there is no appeal to the WTO from an arbitration panel of this kind, it represents the last legal word from the WTO on the matter. Antigua is therefore able to recoup some of the claimed loss of trade by hosting and taxing companies whose business model depends on immunity from TRIPS provisions. Software company Slysoft was based in Antigua, allowing it to avoid nations with laws that are tough on anti circumvention of technological copyright measures, in particular the DMCA in the United States. Topic. Space tracking Until July 7, 2015, the United States Air Force maintained a small base near the airport, designated Detachment 1, 45th Operations Group, 45th Space Wing, known as Antigua Air Station. The mission provided high-rate telemetry data for the Eastern Range and its space launches. The unit was deactivated due to U.S. government budget cuts. Demographics. Topic. Geography Antigua is located in the Leeward Islands. It has an area of 281 square kilometers 108 square miles. Its coastline is 87 kilometers 54 miles. The highest place on the island is 402 meters 1,319 feet. There are various natural points, capes, and beaches around the island including, Boone Point, Beggars Point, Parham, Willikies, Hudson Point, English Harbour Town, Old Road Cape, Johnson's Point, Freeze Point, Jennings, Five Islands, and Yepton Beach, and Runaway Beach. There are several natural harbours formed by these points and capes, including, Fitch's Creek Bay, between Beggars Point and Parham, Nunsich Bay between Hudson Point and Willikies, Willoughby Bay, between Hudson Point and English Harbour Town, English Harbour leading into English Harbour Town, Falmouth Harbour recessing into Falmouth, Rendezvous Bay between Falmouth and Old Road Cape, Five Islands Harbour, between Jennings and Five Islands, and Green Bay, the main harbour at St. John's, between Yepton Beach and Runaway Beach. There are six civil parishes, St. George, St. Peter, St. Philip, St. Paul, St. Mary, and St. John. Fauna The Antiguan racer is among the rarest snakes in the world. The Lesser Antilles are home to four species of racers. All four have undergone severe range reductions, at least two subspecies are extinct and another, A. antiga, now occupies only 0.1% of its historical range. Griswold's amoeba, amoeba Griswoldi, is a species of lizard in the genus Amoeba. It is endemic to Antigua and Barbuda. It is found on both islands. <laughs> economy The country's official currency is the East Caribbean dollar. Given the dominance of tourism, many prices in tourist-oriented businesses are shown in U.S. dollars. 
The EC dollar is pegged to the US dollar at a varied rate and averages about $1 US equals $2.7169 EC. Tourism Antigua's economy is reliant upon tourism, and it promotes the island as a luxury Caribbean escape. Many hotels and resorts are located around the coastline. The island's single airport, VC Bird Airport, is served by several major airlines, including Virgin Atlantic, British Airways, American Airlines, United Airlines, Delta Air Lines, Caribbean Airlines, Air Canada, WestJet, Liat, and JetBlue. There is regular air service to Barbuda. Topic. Education The growing medical school and its students also add much to the economy. The University of Health Sciences Antigua and the American University of Antigua College of Medicine teach aspiring doctors. Topic. Internet hosting and gambling Antigua was one of the very first nations to legalize, license, and regulate online gambling and is a primary location for incorporation of online gambling companies. Software company Slysoft was based in Antigua, allowing it to avoid prosecution for infringement of technological copyright laws, in particular the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in the United States. Topic. Banking Swiss American Bank Limited, later renamed Global Bank of Commerce, Limited, was formed in April 1983 and became the first international financial institution governed by the International Business Corporations, Act of 1982 licensed bank in Antigua. The bank was later sued by the United States for failure to release forfeited funds from one of its account holders. Swiss American Bank was founded by Bruce Rappaport. Sport The major Antiguan sport is cricket. Sir Vivian Viv. Richards is one of the most famous Antiguans, who played for, and captained, the West Indies cricket team. Richards scored the fastest test century at the Antigua Recreation Ground. It was also the venue at which Brian Lara twice broke the world record for an individual test innings 375 in 1993-94, 400 not out in 2003-04. Antigua was the location of a 2007 Cricket World Cup site, on a new recreation ground constructed on an old cane field in the north of the island. Both football soccer, and basketball are becoming popular among the island youth. There are several golf courses in Antigua. Being surrounded by water, sailing has been one of the most popular sports for years with Antigua Sailing Week and Antigua Classic Yacht Regatta being two of the region's most reputable sailing competitions. Hundreds of yachts from around the world compete around Antigua each year. Sport fishing is also a very popular sport with several big competitions held yearly. Windsurfing was very popular until kite surfing came to the island with a big splash. Kite surfing or kite boarding is very popular at Jabawak Beach. Local Antiguan Andre Philip is one of the most famous kite surfers in the world and spends much of his time training in Antigua and Barbuda. Topic. Notable residents Kurtley Ambrose, legendary West Indian cricketer Giorgio Armani, Italian fashion designer, owns a home near Deep Bay Calvin Eyre, billionaire founder of internet gambling company Bodog Entertainment Group Silvio Berlusconi, former Italian Prime Minister Richard Branson, Virgin Atlantic mogul Eric Clapton, established an Antiguan drug treatment center, has a home on the south of the island Timothy Dalton, actor of James Bond fame Ken Follett, the author of Eye of the Needle owns a house on Jumbie Bay Marie Elena John, Antiguan writer and former African Development Foundation specialist her debut novel, Unburnable was selected Best Debut of 2006 by Black Issues Book Review S.D. Jones, professional wrestler known as Special Delivery Jones, in the WWE in the 1970s and 1980s. Phil Kogan, host of The Amazing Race, lived here during part of his childhood. Jamaica Kincaid, novelist famous for her writings about life on Antigua. Her book A Small Place was banned under the Veer Bird administration. 
Robin Leach of Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous Fame. Archibald MacLeish, poet and US Librarian of Congress. Rachel Lambert Mellon, horticulturist and philanthropist, has owned a compound in Antigua's Half Moon Bay since the 1950s. Fred Olson (1891–1986), inventor of the ball propellant manufacturing process. Mary Prince, abolitionist and autobiographer, who wrote the history of Mary Prince (1831), the first account of the life of a black woman to be published in the United Kingdom. Viv Richards, West Indian cricket legend, the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua was named in his honor. Richie Richardson, former West Indies cricket team captain. Andy Roberts, the first Antiguan to play test cricket for the West Indies. He was a member of the West Indies teams that won the 1975 and 1979 World Cups. Andriy Mykolaevich Shevchenko, former Ukrainian footballer and politician. Alan Stanford, Texan billionaire and fraudster. Peter Stringfellow, British nightclub owner. Thomas J. Watson Jr., CEO of IBM. Oprah Winfrey, talk show host. Melvin Claxton, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Meal Choksi, alleged scamster, diamond merchant and owner of Gitanjali Jewelers Topic. See also Barbuda Land Acts Bibliography of Antigua and Barbuda Chief Justices Commonwealth of Nations Guns for Antigua Index of Antigua and Barbuda related articles Leeward Islands List of Antiguans and Barbudans Outline of Antigua and Barbuda Topic References Explanatory notes Citations Bibliography Antigua Nice The Antigua Nice article was extracted by DV Nicholson's Writings for the Antigua Historic Sites and Conservation Commission The Torture Museum Site The Life of Horatio Lord Nelson by Robert Southey The Catholic Encyclopedia Veranda Magazine, Island Flourish, West Indian Furnishings by Dana Mikuchi, March to April 2004 A Brief History of the Caribbean from the Arawak and the Carib to the Present, by Jan Rogozinski, Penguin Putnam, Inc. September 2000 Article on Antiguan Real Estate, Further Reading Jedediah Morse 1797. Antigua. The American Gazetteer, Boston, Massachusetts, at the presses of S. Hall, and Thomas and Andrews Topic External links Antigua Travel Guide from Wikivoyage Government of Antigua and Barbuda Map of Antigua Antigua Barbuda Department of Tourism Antigua Tourism Guide Antigua at Curlie